Hey, what's up folks? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna go over my main system over here. We're gonna go over equipment, corals. I have pulled out the screens. I usually have screens on top of my tanks. I pulled off all the automatic feeders. I opened the cabinet for you guys, just so you guys are able to see what I have going on over there. So let's get to it. This is my sump. I do have my refugium light on, just so you guys are able to see a little bit better what I have going on here. I do run my system pretty simple. I do have refugium here in the first chamber, skimmer in the second chamber, heaters are right there tucked in. I do have a line coming from outside right there. And then right behind the skimmer, I do run UV. Over here are all my Apex sensors on the bottom. Pretty sure you guys cannot see those. And I do have my Tanzi ATO right there as well. As far as those and goes, I do run all three right here. My nitrates, there are those constantly as well. Phosphates are right there. I don't dose those all the time. Just from time to time when I need those. And then of course I have my Cockster right here. Let me talk a little bit of why I'm dosing, what I'm dosing right here. Obviously, I'm using Cockster for cockwasser, so you can raise pH in my system. And of course, for alkalinity and calcium. All for reef right here. I do love this thing, but it doesn't raise its pH in the tank. So that's why I'm using cockwasser. But it's very potent, very reliable, very consistent. And I never had issues with it, and I love it. I do those nitrates right here. Since most of what I'm feeding my tank are pallets and flakes, I do feed frozen, but not all the time. If you guys are feeding the same stuff I'm feeding, like pallets, flakes, I do suggest for you guys to dose nitrates. And I do have phosphates over there, which I dose just from time to time and very little. That's not done all the time. But these three are my main things, what I'm dosing. I just went all the way back, just so you guys can see how the whole system looks like. This is the newest tank right here, so nobody has seen that tank yet. But that's the same size tank as the one over there. And both of them are 25 gallon that measure 24 times 20 times 12. And this is my main display, which is 85 gallons, which is 48 times 20 times 20. Let's go over equipment, what I have going on on this tank right here, which is going to be the same as the other tank as well. I do have lights on right now, which I do have reef brights, but usually during the day, these lights are off since I'm running these lights on opposite cycle from these two lighting, as you guys can tell, they're different. As far as lighting goes, I do have reef brights. I do have XR15 Gen 5 Blues. As far as flow goes, I do have ice cap 4Ks. And on this tank, mostly what I have going on are my bigger acropora colonies, some of the smaller ones as well. Again, this is a newly set up system. I don't have lots of fish in here. I do have a six line vest, to midi tank just for right now. I do have some of the inverts. I do dip my acroporas every four months. I do use beer and I do use potassium chloride. And that's what I like to have all my acroporas on frag plugs and frag discs. Just to make the job easier for me to dip them from time to time. Yeah, that's about it. I do have my Chicago here. That's how everything looks from the top down. And uh, with that out of the way, I'm gonna go turn off the lights on this tank and we're gonna go check out the rest. Our lights are off, so now we have time to check out the rest of the system. If you guys are wondering, you guys can see a little bit of lighting coming from this play right here into the system. But I do have this little trick here, actually. Let's pull this thing down. And um, voila, now it's all set up. <laughs> this is basically just a car window shade. So that's what I have going on. I'm gonna just leave it there. It's not one of set all these coils here, but let's go check out the rest of the system. All right, so this is my second frag tank. As I said, the equipment is totally the same. I do have IceCap 4Ks, Rebrights, XR15 Gen 5 Blue. And uh, yeah, that's about it. This is my older Frank tank, actually. I do have a few extra fish in this tank than the other tank. And I have uh, just uh, lots of frags on my Montes, Acroporas. They have some bigger colonies on the back. There is a fox face over there in my Tumini tank. And we have lots of Montes here on the side. Some of my smaller Acropora frags that I'm growing out. Let's go to the main display here. Let me make this just itsy bitsy brighter for you guys. 
there you go since I have my acropores here in this tank I have a little bit more of a lighting than I have in this system obviously I don't have none of the acropores in this tank all I have in this tank are basically lots of Montes some LPS some softies so I have a lot going on let's go over the lighting first I do have my Orphrex on and my T5s on. I do run those T5s just for four hours on this tank. Let's go check out the clowns on the back where they're an enemy. I do have my hammer on the back. Lots of Montes on the rocks. Top Stellata, TNT and Acro, Green Goblin, which I broke off like a bunch of pieces just yesterday. And that's why it looks like that. And I have put a lot of glue on the bottom since that whole colony was moving big time. So that's what I was doing yesterday. These are all my Zoranthids. I have no clue about the names. I just basically was getting stuff I liked. And I have this whole bottom piece and all the way on the back. These are some of my bigger Ghanis here. They're not open up yet since these lights just started. I do have some of my LPS corals here, some of the Favias, some of the plates, some of the leptos, again some of those antids on the rocks. And then on this side I do have my biggest colonies here in my tank. This is the worldwide corals, slime bowl and acropora, and this is forest fire digi. This is my uh, milka stylo or purple stylo if I really want to call it. I do have a space invader in the back, some of my smaller goniopora's here. I do have both of my gonies on the frag racks. Even though I don't like having frag racks in my system, I have to have them for these since my emerald crabs love those. So I have to have them a little bit elevated so they cannot climb and munch on those. Let me just back up a little bit just so you guys can see the whole system. As far as fish goes, I don't have lots of fish, but I do have a few. As you guys can tell, I'm not really a fish person, but I do have quite a few tanks, quite a few wrasses, clownfish, antias. I would like to have some of the butterfly fish in this tank. I do love pyramid butterflies. I do like copper band butterfly. I never tried those and I don't think I ever will since I do have lots of LPS corals in this tank. So yeah, I do like my Ghanis, like my mushrooms, my Zoanthid, so I'm probably gonna stick to this fish selection that I have right now. Let me turn off the flow in this tank, just so you guys can see the top down view, which is my favorite view in this tank. So let's, let's just go ahead and do that. All right, cool. So there are my Ghanis right there. My huge colonies here. Oh, let me see if I can go a little bit further back. There's my crafted Monty there on the back, which is touching the wall. I have to take care of that thing for sure. There's my forest fire digi. Let me see if the camera will zoom all the way down. There you go. There's my hammer, Roger Rampage, some of the Leptos, my Chicago, some of the Zoanthids, some of Favias, all my corals here, some of the bigger Ghanis on this side. You guys can see the Zoanthids over there, all the way on the back. And down here up front as well. Let me see if it's gonna zoom in. All right, cool. You guys can basically see everything from here. I do love this view. Every single night I do turn off the flow in this tank and I just stare at my corals. That's just what I do. And yeah, that's about it. If you guys have any questions, you can always text me on Instagram, Facebook. You can put them in the comments down below as well. If you guys like the video, feel free to like it, subscribe, and yeah. See you guys in the next one. All right, peace.